Logic users, rejoice and liberate yourselves from the grayscale universe of Apple's Pro Apps color spectrum. These are all custom Logic themes you're looking at, created in the LPX Colorizer app from a new company called Creationauts. Not only can every aspect of Logic's interface be modified, but we can also modify the existing color palette as well. Let's take a closer look. Colorizer is super easy to use. To begin with, there's a huge selection of themes here. And we can start with these and just hit the Colorize button and it'll automatically relaunch Logic. It'll prompt you if you want to save your open project, which I don't want to. And it'll relaunch and restart it. And I'm going to speed up my restarts here just so it doesn't take quite as much time during the video. Great, and there we are. So that's a new theme. And when we dig into Colorizer, you'll see that we can customize each of the elements in each of these sections. For example, the main arrange, the title bar, has different colors. When you click on this, it'll bring up the color palette where we can customize any of the colors for any of these areas. And what's great is you can mix and match and customize different elements. Like for example, let's say I like the color of the track headers here and I want to apply it to another theme. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to burrow in into the arrange area or tracks, track header. And when we click on these, we'll see which part of the track header is affected. And I'm going to select both of these and I'm just going to hit Command C because I want to copy those and maybe paste it into another one. Let's start actually by going back to the default. I'm going to close this one in the background and maybe you don't like all these wild colors and just want to customize things more subtly. So let's relaunch this and we're back to the default. Now let's go to Colorizer and I'm going to copy this default. And I'm going to go under this gear menu and I'm going to go duplicate theme and I'll give it a name. All right, so now we have a safe copy we can work on. I'm going to select these two and I'm going to hit Command V to paste in the colors that I want for the track header. And let's just see what this change alone looks like by hitting the colorize button and updating with this simple track header change. Great, so there's my default logic, but with these new track headers and everything else looks the same, but we can customize any of the elements that we want by simply going into here and selecting the different areas. For example, maybe in the mixer, I want to change the channel strip background for unselected. And that's what I'll be changing. So I click on this, the color wheel will come up and I can modify it. And let's go maybe with something like that and we can see the display over there. Maybe I want something lighter. I like the blue, but a lighter hue, maybe something like that. Let's close this up, hit colorize, and then we'll see that change. And there's the mixer. Fantastic. There are my different colors. And of course, I can modify it if I decide I don't like it. Now, another great feature about colorizer is that we can actually modify the color palette within Logic. When we call this up, these are our default colors, but in colorizer, we can bring up the palette here and we can customize it. For example, maybe I'm going to add a new row and I can change these different aspects of it. The brightness, the saturation, the diffusion, and the saturation diffusion. And then I can customize any individual row. Maybe I don't like these colors, they're too light. I'm going to click on it and I get the slider and maybe I want to add some reds in here. And maybe I don't like this row of color, they're too similar, these two rows. I'm going to change this one a bit. Something like that. And while we're here, I think I do want to change this once we're going to recolorize. Let me bring up the color wheel. I want to get this just a little bit darker. Maybe something like that. So let's close this up and colorize. Great. So now when I bring up my color palette, I have these new expanded colors so I can click and color my regions any way I want based on this new customized color palette. Creationauts has a very active user base with a lot of user themes that are uploaded and that you can share with other people. And there's lots of comments on the existing ones and modifications done, and they have a free demo. So download Colorizer, try it out, and let us know what you think.